Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is just going to be a continuation of the last video where it ran a little longer than I wanted it to. So today we're going to cover specifically if, else, if, and else statement. So now that we've gotten past for loops, everything past this point should be pretty much a breeze. So if statements, as the name implies, run a statement or set of statements if the condition in parentheses is evaluated to be true. This is like the for loops, while loops, and do while loops, except it's much more basic in the sense that there's one condition, if it's true, the program runs. So if condition, when using if statements, it's also important to note that you can have other if statements within the original if statements and so on, but you can also have while loops, for loops, etc. as we saw earlier within the if statement. So, I don't feel the syntax is very important for if statements, but to just briefly go over so you know what you're working with, if condition, inside parentheses as usual, proves to be true, bracket, statements, s, and then the closing bracket. But what makes if statements really special is that you can really control the outcome of a code when you use them in conjunction with else statements. So beforehand, we covered if statements, right? We said if the condition inside the parentheses proves to be true, then it'll execute the statements inside the braces. But what if the condition proves to be false? This is where else statements come in hand, right? If the condition of the original if statement proves to be false, if condition of original if statement equals false, then we can actually tell the microcontroller, we can tell the circuit to execute a different series of operations. What's special about this? Well, instead of the program simply uh, continuing on past the original if statement to continue the rest of the program, well, the else specifies other things that you can do if the original condition is false. Now, this can come in various forms. So first form is, of course, we start out with the if condition, but then we can have an else if. So the else if is if we have a, another condition that we wanna specify, then we can also have separate things done. If you're just working with if and else, then in the second else, what's important to note is that you don't need to specify condition. So let's, let's practice writing out the syntax. So you have if condition, condition, and then braces. But if this condition is false, in your else statements, which usually just follows the if statement directly, you don't actually need to specify condition in brackets. So you can just continue with the braces and have other statements fill in the gap. But say you wanted to have another condition tested. So in between this if else statement, you wanted to have another condition fall in the middle. This is where else if statements come into play. Else if statements are essentially if statements, but Instead of just being another if statements, they follow directly an if statement and they're usually related in some way, shape, or form. The best way to understand this is by looking at the example here from my own code on the right. So you can see here we have an original if statement and then down here we have an else if statement, right? And it just follows this and down here you cannot see this actually, but an else statement follows this and it usually follows the structure listed right here. So essentially, if you're working with if statements, it's very important to note that it's not just the if statement that characterizes the operations. You can use else statements following that, but if you want to get more technical and more specific, you can also use else if statements to specify a separate condition. So that'll be it for today's video on control structures. I hope you learned something new, and if you have questions, please leave them in the comments below, and I'd be happy to answer any.